a wise man once said valentine's day the worst day got too many to please in today's video we're gonna talk about love we're gonna talk about self-love we're gonna talk about loving others it's valentine's day you know what i'm saying hold on before we even get into the video make sure y'all like comment subscribe if you're uh new but women only women only will you be my valentine Nah, I'm playing. Forget all that. But, you know, just want to talk about giving y'all y'all flowers while we get into the video. But today's video, a lot of people, when it comes to Valentine's Day, they feel so lonely. They just feel like, okay, it's Valentine's Day. I don't have a partner. And they just go into depression. But all of this love, it really starts with yourself. And I know mo a majority of y'all are men that are following me. So it's usually women that get affected by the Valentine's Day thing. But I just want to talk about three things that you can do to work on your self-love, loving yourself. Because the reality, some of y'all dudes is going to be feeling lonely. And I know it's women that follow me too. So if you're that woman, you're watching this, you're feeling lonely. Number one, we're going to work on that self-love. So I want to give y'all a three-step process to make sure that you have love. Since today is that lover's day, we wanna make sure that we do have that self-love, right? So number one, we just gotta really understand that everything really starts from the spirit. So working on your spiritual relationship, when you work on your spiritual relationship, you know, your relationship with God, you're really knowing like, okay, cool. Um, continue to be spiritually stronger. If you're just so focused on the outward of, oh, I need a Valentine. I need someone to love me. I need someone to do this, that, and the third. You're just gonna feel empty. That's why on your self-love journey, if you want outward love, if you want that Valentine's Day love, number one, you gotta work on yourself first. Man, this thing getting a little bit tight. I've been hitting the gym too much, you know what I'm saying? No, but the spiritual, the spiritual side needs to be on point. So number one, you have to have your spirituality on point. We got to make sure we're right with God. We got to make sure that we have that relationship with God. Are you praying? What does that look like? Right? If you don't believe in anything, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but this is step number one, right? As far as uh, what I did, as far as working on my self-love. If you're someone that's lonely, I know this video is particularly for somebody. I don't usually make videos like this, but sometimes I just like connecting with y'all where we just sit and talk and you know you have your coffee tea whatever you drink and we go from there i ain't got no tea today but yeah, those of y'all that know i drink i drink tea y'all know but we got to work on our spirituality what does it look like how often are we talking to god how much time are we dedicating to working on having that good spirit right so that's really number one that's number one that you got to work on practical things you can do literally pray and talk to god read your bible educate yourself on continuing to be more spiritually inclined just ask god to make you more spiritually strong to make you have that self-love for yourself because if you if you're that type of person like you're lonely today for valentine's day let's say you're a woman let's say you're a guy you're feeling lonely you got to understand that when you work on yourself you do the inner work then you'll present yourself as somebody that's going to attract what you actually want right so valentine's day lover's day and all that it, do, it don't gotta always be like oh i got a partner because i know a lot of y'all you're looking at the social media you damn you're depressed our mission at cat that's not right there right our mission at cat is not only to reduce crime rate it's to reduce depression usually it's associated with these nine to five jobs but you know people get depressed on valentine's day so if this video can help you and find you on Valentine's Day or after Valentine's Day or when Valentine's Day is coming up again, then you know I fulfilled my mission and purpose in the video. So working on that spiritual side for yourself, right? What does your spiritual side look like? What does your spiritual routine look like? What are you consuming? What kind of information are you consuming? One book that I recommend that you read is Outwitting the Devil, right? It'll really go into the fact that fear holds a lot of people back. So you gotta work on yourself work on yourself and then you're going to attract what you want to attract so we worked on our spiritual side right or we're intentional about working on our spiritual side the number the number two thing that you got to work on is your mental side 
right? Your mental side, your mindset. How is your mindset? A lot of y'all are credit repair business owners, right? Because those, those y'all are the ones that I help as far as, you know, making more money online. Are you cheap? Do you have a cheap mindset? Do you invest in yourself? These are things you have to ask yourself. And I have a quote too that I wanted to read and just talk about it. The quote is, if you don't sacrifice for the things you want in life, then the things you want in life become the sacrifice. I'm going to read that again. Some of y'all need to write that down. If you don't sacrifice for the things you want in life, then the things you want in life become the sacrifice. If you really, in fact, claim that you love yourself, then you're going to do what you need to do to make sure that you don't eat in the short term to sacrifice the long term. And I know that there's a certain element of you don't know what you don't know. That's just a fact of the matter. But if you really deeply, truly do believe that you love yourself, you're going to make sure that you're not sacrificing the long term for a short term gain. So let me read that quote one more time just for those of y'all in the back that may not have caught it. If you don't sacrifice for the things you want in life, then the things you want in life become the sacrifice. If you want that love, right? If you want that long term love, that marriage, that relationship, you're not going to get it if you're just basically not sacrificing what you need to sacrifice. What's the sacrifice? Working on yourself, right? Working on your spiritual side, working on your mental side, reading these books, educating yourself, investing in yourself. Some of y'all are cheap, right? If you weren't cheap, you would probably be in a, diff a different situation in your life right now. That's the reality of it. When it comes to that self-love, investing in yourself is loving yourself. Some of y'all have been watching me for so long. You should have been taking action to be in our mentorship program, but you're just cheap. You don't believe in yourself. Where does that lack of belief come from? Your lack of having that relationship with God. Your lack of working on your me mental, right? So just uh, keep that in mind. So one outcome that you could have, based off of the quote, if you don't sacrifice for the things you want in life, then the things you want in life become the sacrifice. In the short term, one outcome is in the short term, you'll be happy, but you're gonna be depressed later on, right? What do I mean by that? When it comes to love, ladies, it could be fellas too. If you're just sacrificing for the short term, let's say you have a list of what you want and what you'll take to have a partner, to have your Valentine. If you don't respect that list, yeah, in the short term, you'll be happy. Oh, I got a Valentine, whatever. Later on, you may regret it. Like, dang, I wasted my time with this partner that wasn't even supposed to be for me. Same thing, right? It doesn't got to be a relationship. I'm just talking, I'm just making these relationship analogies because it is Valentine's Day, right? So love. But short term, you'll be happy. Long term, you're going to be depressed. But if you make those sacrifices for the things that you want later in life, that relationship, that successful credit repair business, that retiring your nine to five, whatever that life means to you, if it's more money, if it's more freedom, more family time with your family, if you make those sacrifices, yeah, it might be hard in the beginning, but long-term, you're going to be happy. And speaking of happiness, then I'll be getting phone calls. That's my bad. Speaking of happiness, you got to understand that happiness is free, right? A wise person, okay, my mom told me that happiness is free. So if you're over here choosing to be depressed on Valentine's Day, you're choosing to be depressed looking at social media, you're choosing to be depressed based off of your own situation, you got to take accountability. You're choosing not to be happy. You're choosing to be in that situation. When you get up, you take accountability for your situation, you take accountability for your actions, you're going to be in a different situation. You're going to have a different outlook on life. The person that believes that they can do something and the person that believes that they cannot do the same thing, both of those people are correct. Happiness is free. I don't got to send you an invoice for you to be happy. It's your own choice. You decide if you want to be happy. You decide if you want to be depressed, right? Obviously, there's, you know, limiting factors over there. If you, depression can go deep and all that, but happiness is free. What you view is what it is, right? So just really understand. I want to read that quote one more time for somebody in the back. I know somebody somebody needs to feel that quote. If you don't sacrifice for the things you want in life, then the things you want in life become the sacrifice. Remember, outcome number one, short-term you're happy. 
long term you're going to be depressed you didn't establish a good foundation short term you're going to be happy okay i made some quick money but you didn't have a good foundation so your business is going to crumble the second outcome the road less traveled it's going to be hard in the beginning it's going to be hard for a while maybe but overall you're going to get you're going to establish that good foundation this is why when like our mentorship program with marketing just talking about credit getting new clients this is why we have something called god made marketing those of y'all that have seen the video breaking down our mentorship program i'm going to put a link uh below for the video that breaks down our mentorship program and if y'all want to you know tap in you can tap into that but even god made marketing it goes off of the premise that you're essentially taking the road less traveled it's a whole cat credit bulletproof scaling system that I help my students build out. And most people, when it comes to marketing, they just want it like instantly. They want instant results, all of that. You're not loving yourself if you want those instant results. You are not loving yourself if you want those instant results. So we want to make sure we work on our spiritual side. We want to make sure we work on our mental side, right? Because your mental starts at the top. How is your mind set? How is your mind set? Are you set on, I want microwave results? Are you set on, I want a Valentine even if it doesn't fit the criteria of what I like? You've got to ask yourself and assess that. How you do anything is how you do everything. How you do anything is how you do everything. So when you're working on your spirituality, you're working on that relationship with God, you're reading your scripture, that's going to go into your business as well. You establish that discipline. And that brings me to the third step, step number three. What you want to work on is your physicality, the physical. So we got the spiritual, we got the mental, and now we got the physical. If you work on these three things, your self-love is going to be through the roof. And you're not even going to be depressed about having no Valentine. Because you're going to attract what you're supposed to attract anyways. And you're going to repel what you don't need. So maybe you don't have a Valentine right now. Maybe you're feeling sad about not having a Valentine. I'm here to tell you, if you work on yourself, you continually work on yourself, you continuously embrace the concept of being 1% better each and every day. The only factor is time. Time has to catch up. When you're doing the right things, time has to catch up. I've said it many times. Poor people do a lot of the wrong things. Rich, successful people do a lot of the right things. How do you know you're doing the right things? You get under people that have been where you're trying to come from. If I'm trying to retire my nine to five, and I've never retired my nine to five. Why am I not investing with someone that retired their nine to five? I took $3,500 and I invested in a credit mentor that taught me the game as far as credit. I invested more, I invested more, attending classes here and there. 14 months later, I left my nine to five. I created a cat credit retire your nine to five mentorship. I created a mentorship that I felt like I needed to retire faster. I got a mentee that retired in a month and some change. I got mentees making a lot of money. I just got a mentee last week, uh, one of my one-on-one -on -one mentees uh, in six days, from February 1st to February 6th, made $20,000 already. So I need y'all to understand that if you love yourself, you will invest in yourself. Investing in yourself is loving yourself and loving your business. Let me expand on why it's loving yourself. Because you got to understand that you watching this right now, you probably have someone that loves you, somebody besides yourself, right? Maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your dad, maybe it's siblings, maybe it's friends, maybe it's cousins, right? So you have these people that love you. Why would you not be more successful in your business so that you could bless them? You're running a credit repair business. You're watching somebody that's helped people retire nine to fives, help them run up 10K, help them run up 20K in six days. Help them with their marketing. Help them with their sales. Done all these miraculous things. But you're continuing to choose to be poor. Passing over the opportunity repeatedly. That's what poor means. I'm not using it as far as what's in your bank account. It's a mindset. So if you do truly care about yourself, if you do truly care about the people around you, you understand that it's selfish not to invest in yourself and get to that next level. Investing in yourself is self-love. I would be crazy as a mentor, mentoring all these credit repair business owners for me to be like, okay, I got the knowledge I got from retiring my nine to five. I'm just gonna stop investing in myself. 
that's not loving myself and that's not loving my family. That's not loving those around me. It's not loving my students. I'm showing my students love by continuing to work on myself. Having that self-love. Valentine's Day, the worst day, got too many to please. It's not a plan. But I say that to say, if you lonely today, I say you're a woman that's feeling lonely, don't feel lonely, just work on yourself. You're gonna attract that man that you, your dream man, if you a guy, no excuses. Don't be, don't be out of shape, physicality. Go to the damn gym, be in shape, develop a routine, work on that. Work on your hygiene, work on your smell. Today's episode is, that's an episode. This is not uh, sponsored by Creed, but you know, get you some good cologne. You know what I'm saying? Dress well, wear, wear, get you a nice suit or something. Like just work on your physical, work on all aspects of your life so that you could get the best. Everything is about getting the best in the world. I got the best YouTube channel on the planet. As someone that has the best YouTube channel on the planet, I have the best everything. I do the best workouts. I have the best relationship with God. I have the best mindset. But I continue to work on it. I continue to read and uh, nurture my mindset. Continue to work on my personal development. These are things that you have to do if you actually care about yourself. These are things you have to do if you care about those around you. Some of y'all are not investing in yourself and your mom working nine to five. She's slaving away at that nine to five every single day, Monday through Friday, maybe even the weekend sometimes. And you claim that you care about yourself. You're watching someone that knows how to do credit repair better than you, but you're choosing not to invest. That That's crazy. That, that don't mean that you love your mom as much as you say you love your mom. So just keep that in mind. If you want to have that self-love, if you want to have that self-love, continue to work on yourself. This is this goes beyond the credit repair thing, right? If you don't want to, if you don't want to increase your business, you know, that's you. But if you want to, you know, we got the link in the description below. You can hop on a call. We'll get straight to it. But don't waste my time. Bring a credit card that has um at least $6,000 of available credit so we can get started. But let's say that to say, this goes in any industry that you're in. If you're in trucking, go get you a trucking mentor. If you're in Airbnb, go get your Airbnb mentor. Self-love is about investing in yourself. Self-love is about investing in yourself, right? All this Valentine's Day, love this, love all that. It's just a way for people, it's just a way for companies to make more money. So why don't you get a piece of that, right? Don't be worried too much about, oh, uh, love this, love that. At the end of the day, we're not gonna be here physically forever. So you just gotta leave your mark while you're here. Don't just be chasing something that's not even probably gonna be here for, you never know when. So you might as well develop yourself, prioritize yourself, and then the byproduct of that, you're gonna attract who you actually want. Don't settle for less. Do not settle for less. What uh, Bryson Tiller said, don't settle for less or for infidelity. You feel me? <laughs> so, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. I wanted to say it three times because, you know, we did the three with the spirituality, mentality, and uh, physicality. So, with that being said, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Hopefully this video was helpful for your mindset. Hopefully this video was helpful for your love. Um, again, just want to give y'all y'all flowers while y'all are here to smell them. I appreciate y'all tapping into the episode, tapping into the video, tapping into, you know, whatever. With that being said, you, y'all have a blessed one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you found value from uh, the video. And let me know, let me know below, actually. What were your biggest takeaways from here? Because I know on Valentine's Day, we prioritize all that love, dating, and things like that. But I just wanted to do a different approach and just kind of see how I can pour into y'all. So if y'all like these type of videos, let me know below. If y'all had a good takeaway from this video, let me know below as well. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed one.